I was exhausted as a mom and my kid wouldn't let me sleep. So I remember one morning <laughs> in my apartment, my husband or whatever, he was, you know, going to have to go to work. And I had just gotten her to be quiet and, and lay down in the little swing. And of course, at that point, she's just this little fleshy blob. I mean, they're like a little grub worm. They don't move. And of course, you have them wrapped in like a mummy in gauze anyway. You know, they're all bound up, like, you know, like feeling like they're in the womb. So I just kind of like lay her like, uh -huh, don't wake up. Please, God, don't wake up. I just lay her gently in the swing. Like praying to God you don't sneeze or have some horrific eye twitch that you instinctively go to itch so that you don't wake up the baby. Don't wake up the baby. So lay her in the in the thing and I just kind of back away and I make it onto the couch and I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to rest my eyes. Like I'm out. I'm out for the count. I wake up to Joey like rocking, like, you know, bouncing the baby. Shh, shh, they're there. It's fine. Daddy's here now. And apparently what had happened is her little weak old self had grub wormed her way out of the swing. Just like they scare you with the little weird pictures on the side of the swing, like baby will fall out. Like that's what happened. She fell out, well, of course, because she's bound in. She can't like stop herself. She was just kind of like, eh, eh. And then just like kind of fell face first on the ground. Good news is the swing is only like that far from the ground. But still, it could not have been fun for my poor baby. So she fell on her face and she was crying. And how tired I was, I didn't hear it. I'm out. I mean, I'm like drunk girl out. Like, like it, it's not phasing me. And so then my husband, who's fresh off of eight hours, rushes in and saves the day and scoops up my baby. It's like, it's there, there. And the look he gave me in that moment of like, you piece of dirt. I can't believe you let my baby fall on their face. And then of course you wake up, you're like, huh, huh, I was awake. I saw her do that and I knew. What was, I was teaching her a lesson. It's supposed to happen. <clears throat> you're like totally trying to wake up from it. Yeah. So then even when I was like, oh no, it's okay. You go to work. I'll take her. He was like, you sure? Sure you're okay? <laughs> They're like, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> So once again, another story to build your confidence as a mother to say, it's okay to drop your baby. No, I'm just kidding. It's really not. Don't drop your baby. But I can tell you that accidents are going to happen. Every mother has put their baby on a bed to change their diaper. A bird flew through the window and you look over and then the baby like just blobs off the bed. And you're like, oh God, oh, nobody saw that. You know, honestly, every mom I have talked to, counseled, coached, befriended, that has happened to so the good news is, is that, I mean, most of the time, the majority of the time, the baby is fine. I really think this is why God does not allow us to remember pretty much pre four, because we just practice on new kids. I mean, you, you practice on your kids, you know, you keep getting better and better and better. The kid grows you, you grow the kid. And then, you know, they don't really remember all this other stuff. Thank goodness. And it's going to be okay. You're doing great. You know, trust me, other harder stuff like them peeing all over stuff, trying to potty train is going to be worse. So just take rest in the fact that um, it's just going to get worse. No, I'm kidding. It does, but in a better way. It's just a new kind of hard. In fact, that should be one of my slogans. Don't rush to get to the next season because it's just a new type of hard you're going to master. So just be happy where you're at with the level of hard that you have and just rely on friends, family, and God to get you through it, and it's gonna be okay.